Fashionista Steam. And we're back with an all new mating game. I think it's number 95. Yes. Five more to go to the 100, which is a blowout, I'm sure. Very interesting, folks. Oh my god, she's back again. I feel sorry for Tink and them, don't you? Should I be concerned? I would be. I guess you haven't been on here when she's been on. No. She stole my hair, too. Uh, yeah, she did. Rude. Take it away, T! Why? Thank you, I'm Tink Barsbells, and welcome back to an all-new mating game. I, I, I don't know what to say, Fred. I'm concerned. I am, too. You know who is back. Uh-uh. But we have a new bachelorette. Bachelor, I'm sorry. Why do I keep saying that? <laughs> Mr. Faster. What the heck? Okay. What in the world? Returning and we don't want her here. Who does? Tracy does? Does? Do's? I don't know. Hey everybody. I'm back. What the heck? <laughs> oh no. Ed, no it. wonder you're already crying. Returning! Nicole Hayes! Hello everyone, I kind of regret being here today. We'll see what happens. And of course, in our third chair, as always, Ed Bow! Ew, yeah, damn, thank you there, Tank. Hey, everybody, I'm her. And of course, on the camera, as always, is our lovely Fred. Hi, Tank, hi! I guess we'll see what happens. Ed, you forgot to introduce... Ed, you forgot to introduce Smokey. Of course. I ain't done that in a while, have I? No, you haven't. And my best friend beside Nicole and some other people with my little Smokey over here. He's waving at you. Go ahead, Mr. Fester, with your first question. Thank you. Thank you. I love to wear a black cloak clothes. What kind of clothes do you to wear? <sighs> what was that? Did you hear clothes? She breathed. <laughs> she oh. wears breeze? Um, she's wearing a star. I can talk for myself. <laughs> Okay, broad, whatever. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I like to wear sexy clothes. <laughs> yeah, because I'm sexy. Okay, sit whatever the hell, I don't care. That's the retina number two! Yes? I like to wear a longer black cloak. What kind of clothes do you like to wear? I like to wear comfortable clothes. Like a shit? They say shit. I said comfortable clothes. Ah. Like a shit. Yeah. I think he sang shirt. God, give her the lingo, girl. Excuse me. That's the hell I'd be fucking dumbass. That I am. Your breath smells, buddy. Mom would brush your teeth. Ah. I'm letting it grow for a couple weeks so I can take pictures. You are a sick person. You're gonna end up with rotten teeth and you'll end up looking like a grandma. So that'll be your own problem, lady. Do you like to be shooting the picture short? Short or blue jean? Different things like that, yeah. Okay, great, I am it. Battle number three! Uh, I like to wear a cut off shirt, short shorts, and flip flops. That's cool, that's cool, I like it, I like it! Alright then. You sound pretty cute, I like you. Ed Bowers in the cow. Thank you, Ed. Bachelor number two! Yes. <laughs> I'm Liz. I love your voice. I like singing. Thank you. I can't sing very well. What do you think about my singing? Well, then, well, I think you'll be a really amazing one to practice more. <laughs> Thank you very much. Bachelorette number three! 
Hey, what did you think about my singing? That's not bad. I think you need a little practice, too, but I think it's all right. Wait, thank you. You're welcome. That's the right number one. What do you think of my singing? I think it's great. I would love for you to sing for me while I'm dancing in my baby's diaper. Ooh. What the hell? Oh, no, I just don't want to see that. I have no words. <laughs> You're selling diaper for forty dollars, and you shit is just mileage. I say you're sick, bitch. I know what to smell it. What the heck is going on? I have no idea. Good job, Mr. Fester. You did well. And, uh, excuse me? My voice is higher. I'm sorry. I don't know who you're talking to, but, uh, yeah. Thank you, though. Go ahead. Yeah, my neck is bothering me. Best of my name is you. Yes. Are you okay, Ed? I don't know what the hell's going on this show anymore. I think sometimes we got zoo animals running around. Yeah? I don't even know. <laughs> anyway! Hey, oh. I'm a bullheaded! Do you mind that being up this bullheaded? As long as you have a wonderful personality, I don't ah, know. That's a lie! Ed! Do you miss some more? She oh, told me she so like my head man! That's why she don't date me, cause I'm boy. <laughs> I never said that, Ed! Alright then, you just keep on keeping on then. Um, Bachelor, I don't mind as long as you have a wonderful personality and you respect me, I'll respect you. That's how it works. <laughs> cool, cool! Bachelor at number three! I don't particularly, I don't date men, but there's nothing wrong with people that do, you know, women, whatever. It's just fine with me. I don't care. But if I was a woman, I wouldn't mind dating a bald-headed man. That wouldn't bother me at all. That's wonderful. Bachelor at number one. I'm a bald-headed. What do you think of that? Would you date me? I don't care what you look like on the outside. As long as you can rock me on the inside. Oh, shit. Ooh, got it, got it, got it. Just <laughs> get bitch crazy. Bet you that, number three. Yeah. I love to see it and eat at that pick and nicky. Hey, oh, what? <laughs> that pick and nicky. I think he said a picnic. Oh, okay. <clears throat> what would you bring to the pick and nicky? Uh, I'd bring to the pick nicky. I'd bring a big old ham, some bread, cheese, mustard, pickles, onions, sesame seed bones, maybe some fried chicken, the huh. corn pie, ah. maybe it's usually a little, uh, peanut butter oh. cookie. Oh my god, it's a wonderful feast! I think so. You're to be a wonderful date! <laughs> Why, thank you. Oh. I think most women think that, yeah. Uh -huh. mm. If it's right, number two! Yes. What would you bring to a picnic? -y? I would bring to a picnic. -y. I think some pizza would be a good one. Yummy, 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 yum. Some fried chicken. Bar! Don't forget the bar. Hey, babe. Mm. <laughs> I swear. Yeah, I'm sorry. Go ahead. I think French fries would be a good one too. Ooh, love a pinchy pie. Yum, 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 yum. Some, let's see, some red velvet cake. Oh, hell uh, yeah. Yummy. Some sodi, whatever, just. No off-brand sodi. No off-brand sodi, that's a sin. I think that'll be, I think those would be good options. This it sounds like a great pick and key, thank you. No problem. I bet you they're at number one, eh? Hey, Marcia, I don't know. I get so many autographs and you just talk too much. Just shut up. I need to think. I need to think. What? What'd she say to you? She tell you shut up. Don't tell me to shut up. I may throw down after this motherfucking thing I beat. I wasn't even talking to you anyway. I like to play bongos. Bitch, is that number one? Yeah. What would you bring to a big in the Let's see. I would bring me... Spread out on the blanket, naked with my legs out. Ah! 
Well, she is calm. I know. I ain't know. heard about calm on this show in a long time. I, know. I think she calm. Um, <laughs> I'm disturbed by God. Fred! Clean up an old one! Uh, uh, clean up a whole fucking new chair! Not true! I'm probably stuck to it now. I <laughs> 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 don't think I can eat that, but the things for the hopper. Best of the written in box one. Yes. Uh -huh. I'm still trying to learn how to sing, but I'm, I'm working on it. If we were going to an expensive restaurant, what would you order? I would order oysters. They make you horny. Listen, oh. that's your smell. Ha! <laughs> oh shit! Her fucking twat and fucking breast smell the same! <laughs> oh my god, Ed! That's true, I can't help it. Oh! Back to the number two! Yes. If we were to go to a very nice restaurant, what would you order? Probably ribs or steak or something. Ooh, yum, 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 yum. Poker damn guts. So sick of her singing. You suck. Oh, you better watch your fucking mouth. Damn you, Alan Weish. Hee hee. That damn alien, I swear. You're the one to talk, fish lady. Who sent me a train? Isn't that sexy little boy over there? You grow up, baby, I'll rock your world. I don't want you fish lot. Bitch oh, lady number three. If we didn't go to the very nice restaurant, what would you order? I am a... Hey, got pork. Maybe baked tater salad. Some dessert. Yeah, I'd be stew all day. Uh-huh. That's a lot number two. Yes. Will you tell me the worst date you ever had? The worst date I ever had. The Spider-Man. Be happy my nicky. Um, let's just say he was all about himself. Kept asking kept asking. Me to ask him questions about him, but he didn't care uh -huh. uh, to know anything about me, so I just left the date, dumped, dumped soda on his head, and then walked away. Is that the one he tiptoed through the tubes or that baby Ariel? That was baby Ariel. That was the funniest hill episode, I have to say. So that's what happened. <laughs> oh, the bit of Sadie! Mm -hmm. The bit of number one! Yeah. What was the other worst date ever? I never had a worst date. I'm the best date to any man or woman. Ooh. Oh, what it, what it, what it, what it, what it. Bitch, the number three. Yes. Oh, it must be a really bad day, but I'm crying over it. What was your worst date ever? I've had a lot of bad days, but I'd say one. I probably was about 19. I climbed Mount Nogi Noki. What? I never heard of that place. I don't know. I can't. I can't pronounce what the name of it was. It started with an N, I think. But anyway, I went on a mountain expedition and climbed it. Fell down about three or four times. I could hurt my damn backside, my butt, my fucking back, and back of my leg, my fucking head, struck some fucking skin off my damn neck. I thought I hurt like hell. Well, that sounds really bad. Anyway, got to the damn halfway up the top. Pulled my tin out. It, the fucking ground was frozen damn solid. I couldn't hardly put the fucking stakes in the ground. Anyway, this big old bub motherfucker comes slaunching up there. What is slaunching? I walk in, whatever you want to say. He said, uh... Yeah, big boy, you need some elephant tin. I said, yes, sir, I could use it the ground frozen solid. He should have bore it, you know, I help you. So next thing I know, he's taking his damn big ass fucking hammer out of his damn fucking pocket. <laughs> Slam the damn stake in one fucking blow and it's in the damn ground. I said, shit, fire's man strong. I think he was slower, I'm not sure though. It didn't look like him. But anyway, he got my stake and all that stuff down. 
Hey, she did to be on a little merry way. Uh-oh, she getting in your fucking face. I told you, I'm not dealing with you anymore. I'm sick of you. You're just, you stole my hair. Uh, I had this hair before you were even invented. That's true, she did. So I've had this hair on for about a year, so you're the one who stole my hair. But anyway, about that time my date come saunering up, I forgot. I, I was with somebody, actually. She got stuck on the damn side of the mountain. That big motherfucker fucking pulled her up. Anyway, she proceeds to cussing me out, tell me I fucking forgot her on the damn side of the mountain. I told her I was sorry. I didn't mean to. I just was fucking wore out. I had to get the fucking tent up for her. I was freezing. Next thing I know, I'm getting fucking cr fucking kicked in the fucking crotch. Then she takes me, turns me around, fucking takes her damn boot, sticks the fucking heel up my fucking asshole, and then shoves me into the fucking mountain side with all the snow falling on me. Who are you, Ed? It was awful. I'm telling you. I was sitting there spitting and sputtering fucking snow, damn fucking crack my damn top of my fucking forehead open, I hit the damn side of the fucking mountain. And next thing I know, that big buck motherfucker comes back, picks her up, fucking talks taking her fucking up the damn side of the mountain on his damn back. I say I had a pretty fucking badass date. Anyway, I decided I was gonna fucking get their ass. I went fucking sawing back up her. I sit there and threw a fucking rock, hit the motherfucker in the back of his damn ass, he fucking fell off with her. They went rolling down the fucking hill all the way down the fucking valley. I don't know if she's alive or not, but that's the way it is. What is she? Alright, Mr. Fencer, go to your last question. Gosh damn, Ed, that was dark. Ed, she's messing with Smokey. Get your ass away from her, you fucking damn bitch. Hell, I'll kill you over him. Don't you call me a fucking... Oh, I'll whoop your ass, you fucking... He said no, the coach. Yeah, you don't belong here. I'm sexy. You're just plain. Um, who? She's beautiful. <clears throat> you look like a fucking damn slut, Hale. Hey, she looks nice. You're don't the you one. You're the one you. that's ugly on the inside, so. And the outside. Oh. That's the head number one. Yeah. I don't like you. Move on. That's all that number two. Yes. I like you better, much you're better sweet. Thank you. <laughs> and that's number three. I know I'm not your type. So I like you too. Well, thank you very much. You're very nice. All right. We'll be back with this brief commercial. Fucking Fred Hell. All right. Thank you for that brief commercial. Well, it depends. I feel sorry for those poor older people. Uh, <clears throat> All right, uh, Mr. Fester. Would you like to pick Bachelorette number one? No, hell no! Oh, bachelorette number two? I like her. Or Bachelorette number three? Uh, no, 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 he's a man. I pick Bachelorette number two. All right, Nicole, come on out. Meet your date. Meet. No, oh, no, I'm stuck in here with her. Uh -huh. Hello, young lady! You're very beautiful! Thank you, you look very nice yourself. Eh, it is a costume. I'm gonna try something else on. Wanna go clothes shopping? Sure. Then want some pizza later if you want. Sounds good. Oh, you like BTS? I love the group. It's very nice. Very good group. Record it. Are you okay, Ed? No, I'm stuck in here with her! God, can you just get her out? He smells like fucking fish heads. Fish heads? Fish heads, fish heads, roly poly fish heads. Eat them up, eat them up, hell no, we ain't going to. All right, looks like the day looks pretty nice. I think Nicole's happy with Mr. Fester. He's a very nice young man, I have to say. See you next week, folks, for an all-new mating game. I'm Tink Parksmiles. Have a nice evening. Thank you so much, Tink. <laughs> Boy, I tell you what, that, that, that girl is something else, isn't she? She had it out for you for some reason. I don't know why. What the heck did I do to her? I think it was this competition. Um, there is no competition anyway. And I would say there's not. No, I mean, because I don't like competing and stuff. Cause... Well, I'm saying with her, I, I just don't know. I'd be disturbed by any man that picked her, I, I guess. I treat everybody equally. That's how it should work. I would say. I have so much fun doing these, folks, and I just love it so much. I'm never going to stop doing these. As long as I'm here on this earth, it's, they're going to be done.
Thank you so much, everyone. And what do we say? Goodbye, everybody. Hey!